Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Father Sean's Sunday message here from the North Kerry pastoral area. It's the feast of the baptism of Jesus. We moved very quickly from his infancy, from the baby in the crib, to his adult life. And his ministry starts with his baptism. And I read from uh, St. Luke's Gospel. Now, when all the people had been baptized, and while Jesus, after his own baptism, was at prayer, heaven opened, and the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily shape, like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. My favour rests on you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Something wonderful happens to us, to all human beings, when we allow ourselves to hear that we are loved. If somebody tells us that they love us, and if we can hear that voice, something changes in our depths, in our soul. There's more peace and calm and a different energy is there within us once we hear and allow ourselves to hear that we are loved. Jesus, we're just after hearing at his baptism, the voice of God came from heaven. This is my son, the beloved, in whom my favour rests on him. At the outset, as he starts his public ministry, God declares, I love you, to Jesus. And my favour, I'm well pleased with you. My favour rests with you. All my energy goes to you. Everything about me is yours. And it was out of that, out of that declaration of love by God, that Jesus began his public ministry. And he began actually by, by going to the desert uh, and, and, and taking on the demons of the world uh, that he went after hearing this voice. But for today, for today, we too, are baptized, all of us. Um, we're baptized not in the River Jordan by John the Baptist, but we are baptized with water and the Holy Spirit at the font. Uh, all our churches have fonts. Uh, the font here in Ballybunion is at the door. It's the welcoming ceremony, not just into the building here, but into the community. We begin our life uh, with the community at the door with the welcoming ceremony with water and the Holy Spirit and yes it, it's more probably more of a sanitized version rather than Jesus walking into the Jordan and our relationship with the community of course is a love relationship that's what a community is that we the Christian community we love each other all our liturgy is about getting the energy and getting the grace so that we can love each other. So for today, can we take a moment as we recall and renew our own baptism and we hear the voice of God. Can you imagine just the voice of God telling us, I love you? and my favour rests on you. We take just a few moments listening to God and God's voice telling us, I love you and my favour rests on you. We take that moment. Thank you. And we continue in prayer and we pray for all the baptized today, all the Christian community worldwide, that we 
may love each other and that the, if we, we may allow ourselves to listen, that the grace to listen for the voice of people who love us so that we too can be peaceful and calm and energetic in our lives of love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we pray for all who are sick at home or in our hospitals. We pray that the healing hand of the healing voice of Jesus may rest with them, that they know the love and support of their family and friends. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we finally pray for all those who have died, our own family members. Our prayers are asked for the repose of the soul of Marian Maloney of Ballybunion, Limerick and Zimbabwe, who died recently. And for those whose anniversaries occur at this time, Eamon Mulvihill of Main Street, Paul and Phil Breen, Joe and Josephine Boyle, members of the Duggan family of Main Street, Brendan O'Sullivan and Leslie Buckle. And we make all our prayers together in the, in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us to stay our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Thank you for joining me in prayer, and we pray again next week. Thank you.